Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Ronnie coming back to another video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Tua Tango Vailoa's um, career highlights. Um, so we're going to see why he replaced Jalen Hurts. What he did to replace Jalen Hurts. How going into his junior season. What he did his sophomore season to make him the number one overall potential draft pick going into his junior year. Why his draft stock fell. And to why he was drafted fifth overall. But yeah, let's get right into this and let's check it out. National Championship against Georgia. First, first, first play. This is probably what put him as a starter for going into his sophomore year. Led the team back. Started a phenomenal season that year. Oh, uh, this is when he gets injured. This is exactly what you did not want to see happen. And sometimes as a coach, you know, mm. this is your gut. And I think Nick wanted to take him out. And two to talk him back into it. Yeah, let's. Oh, the freshman from Hawaii. It's the much anticipated debut of the freshman from Hawaii. Tua Tungo by Law. See what he does. It's a nice play right there, getting out of the, getting out of the pocket. Well, not getting out of the pocket, but making room out of the pocket. Look, gets attacked, goes in, turns around. He's able to do this while still making a phenomenal throw. Nice job. Not not a fast, not a fast, aggressive runner. But when he needs to, he he saw a wide open hole and he's just able to make a play. It's a good job. Great ball carry vision, I would say. It's a good, good play right there. It's a good play. Nice job right there. Able to get a nice pass in. It's a nice play right there. He's I wouldn't say he's like crazy mobile, but like. So yeah, it was injuries that took him out of being the number one receiver, number one quarterback in the 2020 NFL draft. Now, and this is in a top um, against Clemson. Good job. This kid's got a carry for an arm. He's got the. He's got a good. He's got a solid arm. Has that ability even with the left hand. He, he, they don't have to worry about their right tackle. The Dolphins won't need to worry about their right tackle as much. They they, they could worry about their left tackle. Um, the left not right tackle. They need to worry more about the right tackle than their left tackle. Twenty-five yards. Cause that's his blind side. Which, you know. They might go for one right here, and he will. Much like the championship game, touchdown. Nice job. He just is always able to make these nice throws. This is what makes him a top quarterback. This is why I believe that he he has the ability to, when he needs to, make plays and show potential. He just has so much ability to make a play when he needs to. Like he showed that this season in the NFL, but throughout college he he showed it and showed why he should be this why he should be the number one overall pick. Only reason why he was dropped down to number two QB was injuries. Only thing that lowered his draft stock. And he's just got such an athletic ability, like. Down, they were down so much in the national championship as a true freshman comes in and just makes and just is able to make a nice play. Let's see. Mm. He had 17 wide open, 
Like, 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 mm. Look. 17's wide open, wide open, wide open. That's a problem right there. He, he doesn't always, he, he's looking at the end zone, not looking for getting that yardage. Like, what, what down is it? It's second and nine. He can make this play. Look at, look at 17. Let's take a look. 17. Right here. Wide open, wide open. Doesn't take him. Still wide open. Doesn't take him. But he decides to go to this side of the end zone. It's a good ball. I wouldn't say that that's a solid, knowledgeable play by him. But, you know, that's a good play. Good job by him. Has a nice arm. Look, able to... He does the same thing at that price does. In which he has this arm. That's just so nice. That's just a phenomenal arm. Where they... Where, especially since he now has Jalen Model. A fast receiver that he just has a receiver that he could just easily throw to and he's able to throw it to him and he's easily able to make it on the run so I uh, got a nice accurate arm right there I you know yeah that's a good that's a good play sees it Good job. Season open. Season. He's. He sees that everybody's going, and no one's like paying attention, worrying about him on the run. So he's able to make a nice play out of it. Judy just has a very good connection with his receivers. Um, sorry about this, guys. Um, yeah. Just has a nice arm. Has a tight spiral, it really looks like. He has like a nice tight spiral when it comes down to it. Nice job. Leads his receiver. He doesn't really throw it behind receivers, it looks like. A lot of his throws. Decently mobile, but he just has like, he's not like extremely fast, powerful, but he just has like decent ball carrying vision, I would say. But he's not like the best ball carrier. Please. They actually have him run more than they do have Bryce Young. Nice job. Able to make him miss. Make a nice play. And he's just able to make a man miss. Like, look. Nice job. Excellent footwork. Great job like that. That's a good footwork. Keeps the footwork and he's able to keep balance on it. That's a good job. Always trying to keep balance as a quarterback. Keep your feet actually planted and have that in the right position. I don't like how he like twisted his body because it's not always the best thing. Good job, good throw. Overthrows him, look, Ray. He doesn't get out of time, but he always throws it ahead of him. He throws it ahead of him, allowing him to make a nice play because that he because he knows that his receivers are faster and more athletic than any of the other corners, so he knows that he could throw it ahead of them. And they'll make the play instead of throwing it behind them, knowing that the corner is actually not as fast as them, so he has to throw it ahead of them for him to make a play. Look, that's a nice play, nice play, getting out, getting chased by four or five guys, and he's just able to make a nice play, gets out, and just able to make a nice little play. That's the type of quarterback you want a quarterback that can make a play. Look, see. Sees a nice play and he's just able to throw it deep. Sees his receivers wide open. Um, the problem with this play, look, just he had to kind of like come back to it, slow down. His arm needs to get more improved, if anything, with a receiver that's that fast. But yeah. Okay. Third down and 13. Needs to go needs to go deep and he's just able to make a nice pass. Get um look. Look, ready. Able to keep both feet in bounds, able to make a nice play. Third and fifteen. Need to convert this. And what does he do? Moves up in pocket and he's just able to find find rugs in stride and he's able to make a nice play. a nice play nice throw has such an accurate throw and a nice ability to throw the ball 
Nice to. Nice catch. Able to throw it, make them catch it in stride. He doesn't have to worry about anything. He's able to have them catch it in strides, which allows him to make such better plays if he doesn't catch it in stride. Nice job. He doesn't even. He, he, he's a physical when he needs to run. They, they, I, I feel like Nick Saban actually cared more about running the ball with Tua than they actually did it with Bryce who to uh, the NFL really doesn't run as much as you would actually expect him to. <sighs> nice job, nice play. Receiver it just makes a nice play and he's just able to hit him right there. That's a good play right there. Nice job, throws it ahead. So he doesn't have to worry about his receiver actually, uh, well it's tight end, but being behind him and not making the play and actually getting intercepted. That's a good play right there. Nice play, nice job. He's just able to make a nice play and get a, a do a nice job right there. Nice job, throws it up, makes a nice play. Look, gets it up, and that looks like Najee's just able to make a nice play out as a receiving back and he's not known for his receiving ability but yeah no come this year he really wasn't known for his receiving abilities in the NFL let's see nice job finding the nice open wide receiver look sees the guy sees that he's gonna be wide open he's just able to make a nice play and he's just able to throw it up, and they're able to actually make a nice little play to Ruggs. Just gets a nice play, able to make a nice play right there. <sighs> nice job. Nice pass to Jerry Judy, and Jerry Judy is able to make a nice little play to him. Side steps, gets him out. Allows him to be one on one, and he's just able to get there first. It's a good play. Just, just has a nice arm right there. That's a nice play. Passes to Devonte Smith, and that helps them win their national championship. Like we always say, Nick Saban is all. If you, if you stay with Nick Saban for at least three years. You're winning a national championship. It's just the most common thing. You're more likely to win a national championship with Nick Saban than almost anything else with three national championships. With winning a national championship every year since the new format at Alabama. But yeah, guys, that was to a tongue of Iowa. You know, you know, I would have thought that, you know, maybe they shouldn't have... Uh, he should have gotten slipped down to the fifth. I feel like his abilities and what we've seen, he could have gone to the Lions. Like even though they had got, uh, Brett, uh, Stafford, they still were like, you know, he was getting old, you know, you know, and if they want to rebuild, you know, get a quarterback that has potential. The uh, Commanders could have easily taken him. Giants, they, were, they 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 had a young quarterback, so they really didn't need it. Commanders, they really didn't have like a court, a solid quarterback because it was iffy with Alex Smith, and then they had um, Heineke and Haskins. You know, Haskins they still had, but he was just like you know not causing the best ability in the locker room. But yeah, guys, that was my reaction to uh, to Otungo Vailoa's college highlights. So yeah, guys, remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you guys enjoy these types of videos. So yeah, peace.